Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to implement a bootstrap template on React. So I have my React application that is running and ready. I just created it. I just uh, removed the unnecessary files. No need to worry, you don't. It's not, uh, if you just started your React application, you don't have to follow me at this point because it's not going to change anything. So first thing I'm gonna go to Google and search for Bootstrap 5. Take the links that you find here about CSS and I paste them inside the index.html in the head. So I'm gonna put the first thing here. You can put it anywhere as long as it's in the head. And also those JavaScript links. The first one. Put it at the end of the body. And the other two links. Paste them there. Perfect. Now we implemented the Bootstrap 5 links. Next thing I'm going to create two folders. One is for our components, components, and the next one is going to be for the pages, uh, in which we're going to have only one page, but it's good to have an organized project. So inside pages, I'm gonna just have uh, home date.js and inside components, I'm gonna have the footer.js and the header.js. So I'm gonna start by preparing our skeleton import react from react of course and declare our function that is called header that returns for the moment just a div, an empty div later on I'm gonna fill it with our template code so, first of all I need to export this, export default uh, header. So I'm going to take this body and paste it inside the footer, change the name of the function and export. And also paste it inside home. Because they all have the same body. Anyway. Okay, next thing I'm gonna go to my uh, template folder. I downloaded it from Google. I, I'm gonna leave the link in, in the description. This is my template <coughs> folder. I'm going to open the index.html in my navigator and this is how it looks. This is the template that we are going to implement today. I don't need to see it, I just need the code, the source code of it. We're done with this and we will open our application. Where did it go? Really weird. Anyway. So, the first thing, we're gonna take all those links in the head of the template and paste them inside the index.html also in the head. You can paste it anywhere in the head, of course. I'm gonna put it there. 
next thing I'm gonna also call all the script files and paste them here under our bootstrap script files there perfect next I'm gonna take the footer section footer start and paste it inside the body of the footer of course uh, the react doesn't compile normal HTML so we need to convert it into GSX Uh, in order to have that option on your uh, VS Code, you need to go to the extensions and search for HTML to GSX and download the first uh, extension that you find. And you're going to have that uh, option of uh, the converting HTML to GSX. So, after that, I'm going to take the header or the navbar. paste it inside the body of the header of course I convert it into gsx perfect and now we take all the body from here until the end the end, no, until the beginning of the footer because we already took the footer and we paste it inside oh. I'm gonna convert it to GSX just like the other two perfect and now ah, now we need to copy the template the template uh, folders inside my uh, inside the folder of my project you have to put them inside public That's it, we're done here. I guess so. Ah, oh, no. I need to call all the components and the pages here. So first we're gonna start with the header, of course. It's the first thing that's gonna show on our page. Uh, second, the home. And then the footer. We have to import them import home from pages slash home import footer from <coughs> components slash footer slash header and we change this into header okay I think we are done here our template should work on our navigator let's see this spinner is gonna take for years to start so I'm just gonna remove it here we don't need that spinner thing or loading or anything exactly so here is our template it works as you can see there is the header that means it works 
and let's check if our good also our um, footer works really well perfect that's it for today's video thank you for watching and if you like this video subscribe for more